Okay, so let's bring this chapter two to a close. I'll just show you some last basic things that we haven't shown yet. Okay, okay. Um, Mutant solo. By default, they're assigned to the key commands S and M. S for solo, M for mute. So highlight one or more regions, press M. They are muted. They go grey, and their colour becomes the border. Okay. So that's to mute regions. By the way. Once you've muted some highlighted regions, if you unhighlight them, you can't unmute them. Okay, they have to be highlighted to unmute. Okay, but that doesn't mute the whole track. Look, I'm only muting the selected regions. Notice the track mute isn't active. Okay, to mute the whole track, you use Control M, and then the regions on the track don't go gray, uh, don't go grey, but their border becomes grey, and now you can see the track mute button is active. Okay, so control M to mute the track, M by itself to mute selected regions. And solo is the same. I select a region or two, press S for solo, and this yellow shroud appears across the top. And the selected regions have become soloed and they now have a yellow border and the yellow solo light has come on down here. Okay. Now, the solo is slightly different from mute in that I can unselect regions and they come out of solo mode, and then I can just highlight them and they go into solo mode, or I can add additional regions like that and they automatically become soloed, unlike with mute where you have to uh, highlight and then press the mute key to mute them, so you can do that. Okay, and S turns off region solo. To solo the whole track you simply press Control S and the S solo track button comes on. The regions don't change in colour or anything but the whole track is soloed. Okay so Control S is track solo. Okay that's that's mutant solo. Um, what else can we show you? Okay this walking man catch he's, he's almost impossible to deactivate because he comes on when you press play. <laughs> But if you turn him off and zoom in a bit, basically with him off, basically the, the the page doesn't update as the playhead moves to show you where the playhead is. All right, so that's why he does it with it with him on. You know the background updates. But there's an interesting addition in any of the menus with the with the um, catch playhead walking man on. If you go to view scroll in play that has a completely different effect which is this watch the playhead the playhead kind of stays in the screen not in the middle but somewhere easily visible and the background scrolls continuously yeah now, there is a bug, of course, because it's logic. Every so often it will do that jerky bug thing. You know, just stop and start again, but it's a bit of a pain. That's another bug anyway. So that's view, scroll in play, which works with this catch walking man. Okay, now I'll show you another major bug in logic, which is one of the most ridiculous bugs ever. And believe it or not, they introduced this bug in one of the updates. Okay, watch this. It's to do with this chain link. Now, if this worked properly, just leave it, right click on it and choose content link and it becomes yellow. This is this has changed from the older logic, it's much easier to use, but there's a bug. And this is the bug. This is the way it works. I remember I assigned the piano roll to my screen set too, so I select the green region, press two, bring up my piano roll, and I'm looking at the content of two. Press one to go back to my range screen set, highlight the pink region, press two to go to my piano roll screen set screen set. I'm looking at the contents of the pink region. Blue region, go to the screen set for piano roll. I'm looking at the blue region, orange region, etc. If I select two or more regions and go to my screen set piano roll, it only shows one region and not even the region I selected. You know what I mean? It's just look, you've got to select the first one, go to the piano roll, and that shows that all right. Select two. Go to the screen set for the piano roll, it only shows the first region. The second region is not, contents of the second region is not visible, which is just BS. Because it does work in the lower piano roll, look. You can see both regions' content, and even the coloured line 
showing you the beginning of each region and if I bring in all four regions it shows you all four regions and a colored line at the beginning of each region so it works in the arrange page lower piano roll but not on the screen set dedicated arrange page and that was a bug they introduced in 801 apparently I mean I got this after 801 was released and updated immediately to 802 so um, you know anyway what a major cock up eh? and it's the same in the uh, in the high predator it only shows one region so hopefully they'll fix that bug but if you must edit multiple regions unfortunately you're going to have to do it in this lower piano edit and just drag it all the way up like that I just don't know any other way around it if I find a way around it I'll, t I'll tell you all right anyway that's that but that's what this link button does leave it in yellow and it just is content link and whatever you have selected the editor will show that content all right okay I want to show you one other or two other little things and this is very clever uh, we didn't talk much about the cycle range which is you know when you switch it on it loops between the left and right locator okay now to set your left right locator range you simply choose where you want to begin left can click and hold down and drag out and let go where you want the right locator to be once you've done that you can drag the front and back or rather drag the right locator position forward or back and the left locator position forward or back and it works to the snap but look at this, there's another crafty, as well as the thing we showed before we select a region and press zero and it, it cycle ranges the selected region, right, and all that. But there's another crafty thing, you can do it back to front. If I choose here and drag from right to left, I'm setting the left right locator back to front, so the left locator is at position 29. Look, there it is, left locator there, yeah, 29. And the right locator is in front of it at 27 so the cycle range is back to front with the cycle range on when it's off it shows a grayed out stripe okay now that's actually extremely handy because watch this I can because in play with the cycle range reversed it will skip the left right locator position when they're put back to front and that's handy if you want to listen to a section of song and miss out a bit without cutting it deleting it and move everything else up watch this it will skip. Brilliant, huh? So you can employ that reverse left right locator, fine tune it by just you know choosing the correct snap and skip a whole section or just one region of a song, you know, one bar of a song or whatever you want, and that allows you to hear things without having to remove things and move everything else up and etc. etc. To put it the right way around, just drag the left locator back in front of the right locator or do it down there using these number boxes you just double click and type you know 25 and it sets the left locator at 25 double click the right locator put it at 29 and it appears at 29 and press enter each time to fix that and you can drag the whole thing around like that as well okay so that's that there's one other thing if I bring in the bin with the B key I've, I've um, I've uh, imported an audio file, I'll drag it onto that audio track and look, see this little waveform thing down here, if you left click on it a fader appears and you can zoom in on the waveform display and have it as big or small as you like, okay so that's what that does. Backspace by the way deletes selected regions and you can't modify that backspace key, it is fixed on the command delete so you highlight the region you want and backspace to delete. If you're going to key commands you can't modify that. Backspace is always delete. Okay so I'll get rid of my bin. Okay so look there you go that's chapter two and I've shown you a whole bunch of things. So we'll come back with chapter three and in chapter three what we will do is we will then start to build a little groove showing you all the things that we've learned already in operation like in action. And in the process of chapter three, we will explain the relationship between tracks, channel strips, and the library. Okay, as well as explaining the signal flow and a few other things. All right, so I hope this has been useful to you. And uh, I'm off to play a, a festival in Germany. I'll be back in a few days and then I'll start work on chapter three. I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you soon. Have a good one.